I'm Elif Bilgin, and I'm 16 years old. I grew up in Istanbul, Turkey. Oh, sorry. Wait, one minute. Okay. I grew up in Istanbul, Turkey, a beautiful city where Europe meets Asia, along the banks of the Bosphorus. Growing up in a big city meant that I faced environmental problems like pollution almost every day. Because of this, I became incredibly passionate about the environment. The Bosphorus is such a, especially in the Bosphorus, you can see rubbish, which is mostly plastic, floating in the water almost every day. The Bosphorus is such a beautiful place when you look at it from afar, and I was really upset by the fact that this beauty faded as you came in closer to, view, to the view. It was while searching for a solution to this problem that I, came, that I, learned, about, that I learned about petroleum-based plastics, which are one of today's main pollutants. My family, had a major, uh, my family had a major influence in developing my passion for science. I started to read and write at the age of four, which meant that my parents had to put an extra effort to keep me busy as a child who loved asking questions about anything and everything she saw. <clears throat> so they bought me science books about famous inventors and scientists. My sister, who is a med student, also, could you go back a slide? I didn't click it, sorry. Um, my sister, who is a med student, also loves doing scientific research and has been a huge role model for me. Apart from my family, Mary Curie has been a major influence uh, in developing my passion for science as well. She's been a great inspiration and admiration of mine, being a female scientist who devoted her life to her study of radioactivity, challenging gender norms along the way. She's the best role model for aspiring young female scientists such as myself. Anyway. Sorry. Um, during my research in the topic of pollution, I was shocked to find out that the United Nations Environment Program estimated in 2006 that every square mile of the ocean contains 46,000 pieces of flat floating plastic. <clears throat> I kept thinking about the view of the Bosphorus and I wanted to investigate an alternative. It was then I came across a possible solution, bioplastics. Bioplastics are derived from renewable sources and they are therefore better for the environment and are actually cheaper to make. Traditionally, you will find them made out of potatoes because of the starch in them. I asked myself, why use potatoes that we eat anyway when perhaps a waste material could be used instead? So the aim of my project became to see if I could make plastic out of our own organic waste material. The banana peel was the perfect candidate because of the starch in them. Also, it is something that we throw away almost every day. For example, in Thailand, 200 tons of banana peels are thrown away daily, and this number increases each year. Just think about how many banana peels you've ever thrown out, and little do we know, they could be put to much better use. I was excited to start experimenting, and I developed my project over two years. For the method to work, I had to seek out equal-sized bananas, with no bruises, and they all had to be of the same official color index. <clears throat> the process of turning the peel into plastic includes dipping the peel in a solution before boiling and pureeing them. Afterwards, some chemicals are added to this puree and this, uh, to form a paste, and then this paste is transferred into a petri dish and baked. The process didn't always go as planned, such as the, the ovens in my school didn't reach the right temperature. So on the weekends, I would take my entire equipment home and turn my parents' kitchen upside down into my very own science lab. During two years of experimentation, I had 12 attempts at making the plastic. Could you go back a slide? I had 12 attempts at making the plastic, and all but the last two fail failed. At one point, I almost quit, but I reminded myself of my motto, taken from the wise words of Bob Marley, get up, stand up, and don't give up the fight. Um, it's advocates being ambitious and persevered when it comes to tackling obstacles. On the 11th and 12th tri trials, finally, success. This has to be the best moment, as I knew that my plastic could have huge potential. The method I designed is so simple, and the type of plastic I created could be applied to many uses, such as cosmetic prosthetics and the electrical insulation of cables, of which I have recently been in the early stages of trialing. I'm excited about the future and developing my plastic further. I would love one day to see everyone using my bioplastic 
And I have real hope that our beautiful planet will be spared from the consequences of production of plastic with petroleum derivatives. Thank you. Thank you.